This week's video is sponsored by absolutely nobody. Maybe it's sponsored by this guy, the Stunner. Hello guys and welcome back. Lost Latvian here with the regular three pack videos on this Saturday. So, hey, I am back. I am back from my vacation. NFL season is in its second week. This uh, video is actually recorded on uh, September 14th. Tomorrow is a big day here uh, as Steelers travel to Denver to play fucking Denver Broncos, the team I cannot stand. Why I can't stand Broncos? Because I'm a Steelers fan. How did I become a Steelers fan? Well, long story short, when I lived in Latvia, uh, I heard about NFL, but I only saw the game a couple times a year, you know, maybe only one time a year. And uh, the way I watched the game was a German satellite channel, channel RTL showed a Super Bowl. Every February it showed a Super Bowl and I stayed up late at night and I watched the Super Bowl game. So I did not understand shit what was going on, you know. But uh, when I made my way to uh, Denver here, to Colorado, to United States, uh, I found myself surrounded by my family who are crazy Steelers fans, you know. So I went with the flow, uh, bought into Steelers Nation, so to speak, and now I'm a Steelers fan, yeah. So that's why I'm not a Bronco fan. And uh, there's actually also a reason why my family hate Broncos, not just dislike, but they can't stand them. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to share that uh, uh, story why, but it's something to do with John Elway and one of the silent auctions, uh, what happened years and years back and how it all ended up, you know. It wasn't pleasant, so to speak. It was very shitty from Elway's side, and that's why my family hates that dude, you know, and the whole Denver Broncos team. Uh, also, I'm reminding you that my father-in-law uh, spent all his life in professional sports, and uh, when he was in Denver, you know, that's how my family actually uh, went to that uh, event, you know, and saw what happened, you know, so, but I'm, that's, that's where I'm going to stop with that, you know, none of my fucking business, but yeah, uh, NFL season uh, is in its second week, uh, AFL season, Australian football season, and uh, National Rugby League in Australia is uh, playing their finals, you know, that's what they call it, like the playoffs. Uh, this morning, I watched probably, not probably, but the best, best AFL game ever. Uh, Brisbane Lions played uh, GWS, Great Western Sydney, what you would call it, in, in a, so to speak, a quarterfinals. And the uh, Lions were down 44 points, which is a pretty huge margin you know for uh, Australian football and somehow somehow uh, Lions which is a team I really really like came back in the last quarter in the last minutes to win a game by five points by a, uh, by, a, by, a, by a goal you know a goal is a six points so yeah, they're going to play uh, now in semifinals. They're going to play against uh, uh, Geelong Cats. Another pair is going to be Sydney Swans. Uh, they're going to play Port Adelaide uh, Power. You know, so four teams left in AFL. In NRL, I have not had time to catch up who is playing who. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, that's what's going on, you know. And uh, let's look now at some hats. And since it's a football season, you know, we're going to have uh, this three-pack. Two of the hats going to be related to a, a NFL. 
One hat is sort of kind of an oddball, but it's a, such a great hat that I want to show it to you in this week's video. So let's start with the first one, and it's going to be a NBA hat because their season uh, is not too far away either. And uh, while I am a Denver Nuggets and Boston Celtics fan, uh, this hat is just so good that I had to get it. And the hat comes from Topper Store USA as always. Uh, so let's look at it. It's a black dome, black dome hat. And it, it got this uh, NBA logo on the back of it. It has a tonal new era flag. And this hat came out quite a, quite a while back, you know. Uh, I just did not have a chance to show it to you. And it's Minnesota Timberwolves. So it has this script side patch. And now check out this front logo. Look at the shine of this crying a wolf. This Holland wolf. Satin brim. Blue button. It's a satin button too. And now let's just check out this card. I found the card in here. Dave Steeb, Steeb, I don't know, Dave Steeb, Blue Jays, uh, he looks like a pitcher maybe, he's an old dude, he has that 80s look, 79 to 92, so he is, uh, they ranks as a Blue Jays all-time leader in victories and strikeouts, pitched a no-hitter, at Cleveland on September 2nd, 1990. So he's a friggin' awesome guy. Great uh, baseball pitcher. He throws right, bats right. So this is a cool dude, man. Dave Stieb. Stieb. You know this dude? That's a, that's a good, good baseball player. Here's his stats. Just look at that old school look. Look at his face, you know, the mustache and the freaking uh, long hair. <laughs> He's a freaking awesome looking dude. All right, Dave. Back to the hat. Yeah, black dome, NBA hat, satin button, satin brim, gray under black guts i wish more hats would come with the black guts yeah white looks better but for practicality uh you can't beat the black sweatband and now let's do the size check yeah step two let's see how this hat fits me uh hat is made in china but this is the china's good factory you know see how square that hat is and not that pointy shit and here we are absolutely awesome looking hat minnesota timberwolves hat number one for this saturday and we're moving on now to the nfl hats and very first one, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, I'll put up somewhere, popped up here, my Instagram account. If you don't mind, uh, you can come and subscribe to that Instagram channel. Not spamming anybody, just showing my hat or whatnot or whatever I feel is important to me. Uh, and uh, yeah, to those who follow me on Instagram, they've already seen this hat because I was wearing it when I was in Europe. Actually, this hat was waiting me over there because I had a four pack sitting there, you know, and this was one of them. So uh, uh, because I had some outfits with me, you know, uh, I found out that this hat was fitting with my outfits and uh, so I just peeled off the stickers and wore them and wore it. 
So let's look at this one. Two-tone new aero flag. More and more the uh, Topper store is doing this, these uh, two-tones, uh, two-tone new aero flags. And yeah, so this is Topper store Europe again. Black dome and then flat uh, NFL shield. Then it has this raise the flags script on side, on the side. And ladies and gentlemen, here's the hat. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I absolutely love this logo. Uh, this friggin' sailing pirate's boat ship coming at you. Uh, great Buccaneers hat. Always wanted to get one and I wish they would make more and more Buccaneers hats because I think their logos are great. I love the way they look. So black dome, red satin brim, gray under, black sweatband, hat is made in China. Again, square looking crown, crown. It's a little higher profile. And here's a step two. What do you think? I think this is friggin' awesome, awesome hat. Uh, a lot of people looked at me uh, when I was walking uh, with this hat around Europe. And let me tell you, man, uh, I kind of understand why a lot of hats sit in Europe on, on Topper Store website, because pardon me, my European friends, I know uh, you're not one of those guys, you know, but hat game in Europe absolutely sucks ass. They have those freaking dad hats and, and uh, any other kind of shitty ass snapbacks, you know, and the strap uh, kind of hats and uh, all fits one, you know, kind of hats, the stretch uh, hats, you know. I didn't freaking see any uh, 5950 hat or a good uh, 950, not 950, yeah, 950 or 940 hats, you know. I mean, uh, their hat game sucks so bad, you know, and I can tell by how many of these hats actually are sitting on their website, you know, and I truly believe that a lot of hats are being bought by people in Australia, you know, the United States, and for uh, from very few collectors in, in, in Europe, you know, like, they just can't sell out, you know, and that's why they have, like, a bunch of snapback hats uh, in that Europe store, you know, and, and I believe that they have more sales selling those dad hats or, or whatnot, you know, than uh, they can actually sell 5950s. So that's my observation. Hat game absolutely sucks ass in Europe. So anyways, hat number two. And now we're going to hat number three. Let me check my phone. Somebody just uh, texted me. Oh, that's my buddy. But, uh, yeah, let's go to the next hat. And I think this is another friggin' absolute stunner from, and this comes from Topper Store USA. And tonal, tonal new era flag. Then we got this NFL shield on the back. Then we got this 50th anniversary, I believe. Yep, 50th anniversary, 1960 to 2009. So 50 years. Um, I don't know why in the hell it doesn't say 2010 then. But I guess it's a season 09 to to 2010 as this side patch and again ladies and gentlemen uh, Buffalo Bills my very first Buffalo Bills hat red crown 
blue satin brim, blue satin visor, green under, black guts. What are you seeing here? There is a card. Card and let me remove again this uh, paper. Kevin Saitzer, Saitzer, third base. A Royals score 90, 91 card. Uh, so this is, he's already played like five years with the Royals. Third baseman, meh, kind of a, not that good of a player. Just looking at the stats, but here he is, Kevin Saitzer. Okay, good old Kevin. See you later. Back to the hat, yeah. Red Dome, Tonal, New Era, 50th anniversary side patch. This Buffalo Bills logo, I think the logo is awesome. Blue satin brim, right here brim, button, green under, black guts. Step number two. Yeah, hats made in Bangladesh. Yeah, and all, all NFL hats have this shield tag. And this is on the back. Oh, I love the Bangladesh ha hat. Fits so great on me. So, yeah, there you go. 718 NFL hat. Buffalo Bills. And let's rank them real quick. Oh, man. I like this hat the most. Yeah, number one. Hat number two, this Timberwolves. And hat number three, this Buffalo Bills. But to be honest, all three of them are great looking hats. Happy to have them in my collection. Let me know in the comments if you copped any of these as well. Yeah, I would like to know. And uh, yeah, I'm wishing you all the best. You know, stay healthy, my friends. And um, I hope to see you very soon next Saturday. So take care, my friends. Lost Latvian out. Have a good weekend. Bye.